everyone welcome back to my youtube channel mrs smith 88 so today i have a goose creek candle haul for you guys it is my first time ordering from goose creek candles i've never tried them before now i do have two candles that are not here to show you guys so let me go ahead and tell you guys about those ones one was Nectarine and Honey, I believe it was called. I really wasn't crazy about that scent when it came, so I went ahead and I passed that on to my sister-in-law. The other one was White Tea and Bergamot. I had actually recorded this video before burning that, and the video quality was terrible because I got a new camera and I had to adjust lighting and so forth. So the White Tea and Bergamot, I actually got about halfway through it and I had a fire. Yes, I had a fire. I might upload a separate video. I put an Illumilid on it and I did not know that you should not Illumilid a two wick candle because the two wicks give off so much heat that the candle can combust. My Illumilid caught fire. The inside of my lampshade in my living room is covered in soot. Luckily, I did not leave this candle unattended. I was able to catch it in time. I was able to get it out the door. I tried blowing the fire out. I did get some slight burns on my fingers, so I ended up ultimately throwing the candle down. It ended up drowning itself out and tossed the candle. So lesson learned, never put an Illumilid on a two wick candle. So let's jump in and get started. I have seven other candles to show you guys because I did order nine. They had a great sale going on. Candles were $9.99. I was a little skeptical because I did not read reviews before ordering. I read reviews after and I found out that these candles can be hit or miss. But I will say with the one that I burned, the white tea and bergamot, it was definitely more fragrant than a Yankee candle. So, so far so good and i am impressed with goose creek so the first candle i have here to show you guys this is the blooming magnolia so blooming magnolia looks like that creamy wax color these are the let's see how many ounces are these these are 24 ounces and they have an approximate burn time of 100 to 150 hours and Blooming Magnolia is just a gorgeous white floral, but I feel like it has like a touch of lemon in there. I definitely don't feel like it is a straight white floral scent because I do get that citrusy lemon note in there with this one. So the next one I have here, and I was super excited for this one. I'm unsure if I will be burning this during the summer. Chances are I will wait this out towards fall. I absolutely love banana bread scents. So this one is sweet banana bread. Looks like that. So it has brown wax, and that picture looks gorgeous. I wish my banana bread came out looking like that with that little drizzle on top, fresh bananas on top. Ooh. I love this. This smells like a classic banana bread. The banana smells like a legit real banana. It doesn't smell like a candied banana. Very sweet, nice bakery scent. Oh, this one is fantastic. I cannot wait to see how this one ends up performing. Next, I have here Unicorn Candy. This one looked fun. Nice blue color. Has the Unicorn Candy dish on it. Let's see here. Ooh, I like this a lot. This reminds me exactly of like a blue raspberry slushy. I feel like you definitely get a very strong blue raspberry berry scent in here. This one has some oil sitting on the top. Ooh. I love the smell of this one. I wouldn't say that it smells like candy. It definitely smells very fruity, very sugary, sweet fruity, almost like a fruit punch, but definitely nothing like Yankee Candle Tutti Fruity if you guys ever had that one. If you guys have been watching me for years, you guys know Tutti Fruity is hands down my favorite Yankee Candle. I have two sitting in back stock and I'm terrified to burn them because I love that fragrance so much. So then I have here Splish Splash, and it is a periwinkle grayish purple color. 
has a kid playing in a puddle. Like I said, these are two wigs, so they look like that. And when it comes to Splish Splash, I get a very spa-like rain clean laundry scent. Like if you like Gain, it kind of smells like Gain with like a touch of rain in there. I like it definitely on the fresh side. Like I said, very, very spa-like, very nice, enjoyable fragrance. So three more left to show you guys. This one is another white floral scent. This one is Gardenia Petals. So this one is a white color with a little bit of a yellow undertone. So the label looks like that. And when it comes between the Magnolia and the Gardenia, I would definitely pick the Magnolia. I think the Magnolia is more authentic when it comes to white florals. This one, there's like a very weird sweet undertone to this floral. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but I'm definitely curious to see how it plays out because it smells a little bit on the waxy sweet side. I don't think that this was like the best executed candle that they could have made. So, so far this is like my least favorite of the ones I showed you. My least, least favorite was that nectarine because literally it smelled like the outside of a peach skin. And I was hoping that it would smell like the inside of a peach, like a juicy peach smell. But no, it smelled like just the outside of a peach skin. So then I have here Sunset Sparkle. And I actually had my husband smell this with me and he was picking on me so bad. Because like I was covering the labels and I'm like, guess what this smells like? And he's like, well that smells like Island Getaway Paradise something. And I'm like, oh you're close. I'm like, it's Sunset Sparkle. So it's a gorgeous coral color. The label looks like that. And this was like one of my top favorites. Like I feel like you get some coconut milk, coconut milk in there. I feel like you get some guava. This is a very nice tropical colada island scent. So I really, really enjoy that one. And then I have one more left to show you guys. And it is another bakery fragrance. This one is in Cherry Cobbler. I love the color of this. Gorgeous berry color. Like literally same color as my lipstick today. So this is Cherry Cobbler. Looks like that. And oh, this one smells so good. Like literally if you have ever had a Marie Callender's Razzleberry Pie, it smells like Razzleberry Pie. So I don't think it necessarily smells like cherry cobbler, but do I think it smells like raspberry pie? Raspberry pie has blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries in it, I believe. So you get that buttery, crusty note with berry pie filling. It is very, very nice. So that is everything that I got from Goose Creek. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Definitely, if you get the chance, check out the Goose Creek website. They are always doing a sale. Usually you can get candles for $9.99, $12.99. Definitely cheaper than buying Yankee at retail. So check them out. Like I said, don't forget to comment, rate, and, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, everyone.